and welcome back to another episode of Factions here on the island. It's been a while since I've had one of these, which I do apologize for. I've been away and doing stuff, so uh, Factions is back for good. And uh, today is a raid control episode, but I thought, you know what, before... I actually do this. I want to show you guys the new spawn because if you want to wear we have one of those Yeah, this is a part of it. This is the center here I'm just looking down so I can look up in a second and be all suspenseful and stuff But uh, I just wanted to show you guys this just in case you hadn't logged on yet and seen it or you know You wanted kind of a tour from me anyway, so on three two one go We're gonna look up and we're gonna see the beauty that is this brand new spawn, and I keep getting 69 cents from some spicy butts, which, uh, which is pretty good. Yay. <laughs> anyway, three, two, one. Boop. <laughs> Lamest sound effect for reveal ever, I know. Anyway, guys, here is firstly the beautiful island sign, surrounded by some Yoshi-themed beautifulness. We've got some warp pipes, which actually leads to the parkour here. And uh, it may or may not lead out onto these piranha plants here. Just to say, well, it does. It it does. It may or may not. It does. Uh, but you know, you can you can check that out for yourself anyway. Got some clouds. And uh, when I first saw this, when this was being built, I was like, hold on, why is the Team Rocket logo here? But no, it is not Team Rocket. Sadly, uh, I, Team Rocket would be quite cool on the server. Actually, this is the rules board, so we got all of that there, including. My beautiful sexy face with absolutely no eyes because, you know, that's just how my skin is. And then, of course, you know, walk over that way. You go into the beautiful wilderness that is the faction's world. And uh, and then, of course, here we also have the shop. So, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to go in there. You guys, can, you guys can see that for yourself. So, I just wanted to go over that really super duper quickly before we jumped into today's faction's raid control episode. You know, because I haven't covered it properly on a video yet. But... Let's go back. We are going to go into raid control. So we go home slash raid control. Bye, crazy people following me that are no longer here. Ha <laughs> ha. You noobs. Uh, there, yeah, that's just my faction's gear. So, I have absolutely no idea what we are doing. Not because I'm not prepared, but because it has been such a while since the last raid control episode. So, again, I apologize for that, you know, factions and picks them on. Uh, videos just didn't kind of go up while I was away, but they are back. But let's not dwell on that. Let's read the next chapter. Oh, okay, there's two books. Okay, so we got The Tale of Hugh, as always, and then we got Meanwhile. Okay, well, I'll read both of these in the order they seem to be in. So, The Tale of Hugh continues. Let's go. Chapter 5. He woke up, sweaty and exhausted, even though he had just slept. What is this voice I'm doing? No. It was all just a dream. He turned to the side and saw a book named Auras and Their Origins. He opened it and started reading. After some time, he closed the book. He had discovered that out in the world, there were these things called Auras, which were <laughs> some small different colored amulets that the gods had put on Earth to give their possessor more power in his time of need. Now, I'm all about more power, so I'm liking where this is going so far. He put the book away and didn't think more of it. No, I, I definitely thought more of it. Definitely. This is kind of cool. He decided that, since he had slept badly, that he would take the day off and just decorate and build a bit. Okay, I can do that. Today, you have the freedom to just decorate and change your base. You could get rid of some of the books downstairs in the torture room, which you call it, or change your farm or whatever you would like. Have fun. I will. Thank you. And that was a voice crack of epic proportions. Also, let's read this meanwhile before we get started. I do have an idea, actually, that I've just thought of, of what we could do, which would really be useful as well, but we'll get into that in a minute. Meanwhile, Justin and Tom were dining at the Royal Quarters. How come they get to do this? This is not fair. So how's the peasant elimination going, sir? Asks Tom. I don't know why he sounds like that. Just fine. We've already wiped out about 20% of the peasants in the area. A butler walks up to Justin and whispers in his ear. Who? Says Justin. His name is Hugh, says the butler. Tom spits out his food. No, I hate that guy with a passion. He must be found immediately. Hey, Tom, chill. I'm a chill guy. Come on. Just <laughs> Justin's henchmen begin the search. For Hugh's whereabouts. It's only a matter of time, says Justin. I have a feeling he's going to try and stop us somehow. You know it! Come at me, bro! I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm kinda clueless, actually, but come at me, bro. Anyway, let me put these in here. So, yeah, the idea that I just thought of was uh, actually 
Why don't we build some more chest space? Because that's something we're running out of quite desperately here. As you can see, that chest we can't even use for storage. Neither can we that one. Also, chapter 4 of water, I haven't even checked this. Ooh! Oh, we can spawn a bunch of stuff. Beautiful. Oh, well, I guess what then? Uh, now I'm confused because that also gives me an idea. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me just talk about my original idea. Then we'll figure this out. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of chest space that isn't really going around anywhere. This chest doesn't count. This is actually where I dump my regular factions gear in case I forgot to before I start recording an episode. But we will do something with that. And then down here, you know, we don't really have any chests at all. So, hmm. Oh, what are these signs? Dig down to find reward for chapter 5. Huh. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I believe that we are a chapter behind then. So is this chapter 6? Hold on, does it say in the book? I think it said chapter 5, right? I am really confused now. I'm, uh, I'm really, really confused. Yeah, it says chapter 5. Okay, well, we'll dig down next episode then. We won't bother with that. Um, so... I can either do that chest thing, or the other thing that just kind of came to mind when I picked up the chapter 4 award was kind of like an animal farm, which could be really, really cool. Uh, the bat we wouldn't put in yet, the chicken we would, uh, the cow we would, so yeah, the bat and the squid, obviously we wouldn't really put in yet because we don't have sufficient areas to house those, and making those wouldn't be our top priority right now, because, you know, you can get a lot more valuable stuff from cows, chickens, and pigs. So we can either build a little animal storage facility, which makes me sound like I'm working at McDonald's, or we can build a chest room. And I think I've literally just got to figure out which would be more valuable at this point. Because the other thing is I don't know when I'm next going to get like a free build kind of episode for raid control. So whichever one we don't build today, and I don't want to build both because... You know, I would rather save those for separate episodes, and uh, we can do more with each of those if we do that. Um, if I, you know, whichever one I do not do today, might be a while until I actually do it. So, hmm, which is more valuable? I, oh god, I really don't know. Because with the chests, it's storage, but with the... And, 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 and that was a peek into my brain currently. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna go and grab a drink. I'm not even gonna be subtle about it because god damn it's hot here right now. I'm not talking in the game. Uh, I'm gonna go drab, uh, drab, a, drab a gink apparently. I'm gonna go drab a gink really, really fast and uh, and then I will just kind of figure out what I'm doing. So I will be right back in two minutes but one second for you guys so it's pointless me saying it. Woo. Okay, well, I gave it some thought and uh, a nice little sip of some Coke as well. Mm. I was hoping that was going to make a sound effect, but it didn't, so that was pointless. Anyway, I think, and as you can see, the eggs are out of my inventory. I think I'm going to do the chests thing today for two reasons. One, it's pretty vital that we have storage, and as I said before, I am kind of running out a little bit in raid control right now. And secondly, you know, coming down here... I was originally going to try, if I did the chest thing, uh, you know, a whole new room. I don't think I need to do that. What I think I should do instead is, uh, okay, well, that is, hmm. Actually, no, this will still work. It's on the border, but this will still work. I'm actually just going to, like, dig in some holes around here that we can use as chest storage, which I think is going to be really, really easy for us to do. That also saves us some time on building a new area, and I'm not saying that because I'm lazy, because I'm not, and actually we could do with a new area, but I don't think we need one right now, just because if I was going to, I would have to expand all of this out, and I feel like that's probably something that's going to happen soon in an episode anyway, so I don't really want to mess with that, you know, I, just, I have a feeling it might happen, I'm not sure, if you guys don't know how raid control works by the way, I actually never know what's going to happen when I come into an episode, so... It is all a shock, just as much to me as it is to you guys when you watch the video. So, uh, yeah, I don't know for sure, but I don't know. I just think logically that's something that we would probably be doing in an episode soon. So, I'm going to make a whole bunch of chests here. And uh, and then, yeah, we're literally just going to go... Oh, and I'm out, so we have seven. I can, yeah, I can work with that. And then we're just going to go down here now and see where we can place them. And that will be our little building session. Beautiful! It's not even building, really. It's placing... Well, no, I'll try and modify some of this room. So, I want to make this look fancy. Either, like, in the wall or something. 
Um, actually, we could do in the floor here, couldn't we? That would look pretty cool. And then we could, um, actually, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, so... We're going to place the chests in the floor here, and then above them, you know, we'll have the signs. And that way we can do uh, chest organization, which I'm probably going to regret in a later episode because I am awful with that. If you guys have never, ever seen me try to do chest organization, especially in factions, which it is a thing, then, uh, yeah, I never really stick to it. But I will try! And, yeah, the lag, apparently, I've, I'm uploading something right now. Am I uploading? Yeah, I am. Oh, God, I am! God damn it! That's, that's why this is like this, but that's fine, we can work around it. At least it's not trying to kill something today, because otherwise I would not be able to record this episode right now. But, let's place these all down. So there is two right there. I'll place another two here, and that leaves us one left, which I will then, uh, yeah, where should I put that? Actually, why don't we have a, uh, a, a bedside table kind of equivalent, just like that. Because I always like to have a chest by my bed, and that works to be kind of like, um, the essentials, I guess? Just go back and watch my survival of the Yoshi, because I do the same thing there, and I don't know how to define what I've got in those chests, but it kind of makes sense, just in my brain. But that's with a lot of things, as well. A lot of things make sense to me, and then I'll do them, and I'll be like, this is so damn stupid. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the charm. That's part of the Yoshi charm, and by charm, I mean, goddamn, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. And I've also got a cough right now, so if you do hear me coughing, then I apologize for that. But, there's some sticks, and I'm going to need... How many signs does it make if you just do one? I'm not sure on that. Either way, I am going to need to, uh, to go out into the beautiful open world and get some trees. So actually, instead of just breaking through the glass here, why don't we go to spawn, and we'll walk down and get some wood. And then we'll TP back in, because we have our home set. So, I'm gonna go do that. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna cut away. I was going to cut away. I'm not gonna cut away. You guys can see the new world. Also, we do have King of the Ladder here. Uh, so, if you guys wanna check that out, go do it. It's pretty crazy. What is that? What is... What? Oh, God. I, I, you know... No, no, Yoshi! I'm not... Is that an Attack on Titan skin? Ooh! Damn, son, look at you. Uh, I'm not going to go check it now, because that is going to lead into a whole other thing. I've got to stay factions, raid control, dedicated, and that sniff sounded disgusting. I'm sorry about that. Again, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something, which is not great timing, because I just got back, and I really want to make a whole crap ton of videos of everything that I have missed for you guys, because I feel pretty bad about it. But, uh, yeah, I, don't, I really don't want to get ill. That would suck. Ah. Ah, I'm getting out. Ah, okay, we're fine. Now, is Jamie... J J Jamie... Jamie... I'm trying to dig here, bruh! Dad! Dad! Stop it, Dad! Oh my god, you're a dash! Oh god, why? Why would you do that? Oh god! Oh uh, yeah... You're an ass, man. You're an ass. Okay, dig it quick. Dig it quick before Jamie comes! The Grim Reaper of Wood, apparently. Ah! Okay, there we go. I'm not derping about, man. I'm trying to... I'm trying to, you know, advance raid control. Damn. You know what? I'm just going to leave that tree there. They can do what they want with that. Psh, man, I don't care. I do kind of care. But let's go back. Raid control home. And uh, actually, yeah, that's the point. I should probably make a crafting table down there as well. Hmm. Um, just thinking. Actually, yeah, I'll just take this one with me. So actually, yeah, that works out better because then this room up here can be made into the story area. You know, where I pick up my stories every time and we have the wall of adventure and the monster heads and stuff like that. And then downstairs is actually kind of like, if you want to call it, my base, where uh, I sleep and I eat, and I got my crafting tables and my furnaces when we get some of those, and uh, I make it sound like furnaces are a long-term goal, that sounded really lame, and, uh, and then yeah, my chests, I like that. Okay, so let's put that on the other side of my bed so I'm all surrounded, beautiful. Let's make these signs. So, yeah, how many am I going to need? And it makes three. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, that's perfect, because these are going to need to be signed. This one won't be, because it's just my general stuff, so I won't need to do that. So, um, now, thinking of categories as loosely as I possibly can. Uh, <laughs> um, stuff. No, I won't do that. I may actually do that. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll place one over here that is literally called Other Stuff, because that's the one that nondescript stuff goes into. Quite literally, nondescript stuff. Love it. Anyway, let's pick that up there. Right, so, um, 
For this chest, it's going to be... Commons? And then rares? I, that's a really weird way of sorting it, but that's the first thing that popped into my mind. Actually, actually, yeah. I kind of, you know, that kind of works. Doing it in that way, in any other series, would not work at all. But with raid control, it kind of does. Because, oh, apparently Pikachu Tosh, awesome name, by the way, is Spunk Man. No, man, I'm Spunk Man. You don't even probably understand that reference. It's kind of old. But, yeah, that one, you know, just the regular stuff we get from raid control. That one, the rarer, more things, you know, we need to keep stuff, kind of thing. Oh, God, that was so horribly worded. Uh, go in there, and then anything else goes in there. And the regular things, you know, like armor, tools, stuff like that goes in here. Weirdly, that kind of works. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I don't know. I think it kind of works. Now, lastly today, last thing I want to do is just see if I do have any cobblestone anywhere. I actually don't think I do. Yeah, so we will make a furnace in another episode then, because we don't need them for today, and there's no point, really. And I haven't actually smelted anything in raid control yet, I don't think, because it's not that kind of series. So... We'll do that another time. But guys, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Raid Control. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, as well as come and play here on my server that we're on right now, The Island. We have got an awesome community, along with a bunch of new stuff coming pretty soon, uh, especially for factions. And of course, you can come and play here with me and have a chance of getting in a video. All the information you are going to need for that, including the IP and the website, will be down in the description of this video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I've been Yoshi Mario. I'm jumping around like a dumbass in my room. And I will see you all a little bit later. Bye, guys. <laughs>